to all my subscribers uh, I usually do a better job of keeping things updated I did however do the three things to my welder I did put a 10 foot stinger on the darn thing so I can get all the way across and over there's a new stinger and it works well it's by yes welder okay so um, we'll let that go by for now I am working on the uh, tightening of the blade my pillow blocks will sit here on another subframe that will be welded on there uh, there's the shaft <coughs> and uh, the pulley uh, the pulley is down there in the grass you can't hardly see it I got another one over here here is the subframe uh, to get threaded holes in it and uh, go on that mount right over there on that mount okay I have my drive motor 40 chain sprocket on here this is gonna um, uh, the chain will go down it will have an idler to go back and it'll come down in the front here and it'll have an idler to take it forward so this is this is the drive motor it's one of the electric wheelchair motors I got in Florida last winter okay right here you see the subframe and the bearings uh, for the pulley there's one of the pulleys is 18 and 3 quarter inches if somebody watching has put the belt on that thing I'd sure like to know what size that belt is it is 18 and 3 quarter pitch diameter okay um, here a quick overview this is the bottom um, this will uh, raise and lower raise and lower the whole engine assembly and bandsaw system you see over there on the other side I'll, I'll zoom in right okay right there you see the bottom you can see the upper I bought the sprockets and the weld hubs from uh, surplus supply you see my weld hub there it's just tacked in place a lot of this stuff is just tacked in place um, if I have to make a change it's easier to cut it off make the change and go on okay I have uh, owed all my followers a update uh, going up with the welder or uh, excuse me going up with the bandsaw there it is as it stands today today is September the 5th stay tuned a lot more good stuff coming okay bye bye